What is the most autistic <gasps> moment you've ever experienced when playing 40k or related games? Pick related. Save <laughs> your pains! <laughs> oh, that's your pains, pains. I tried telling a guy at the local game stop about my custom Imperial Guard regiment lore, and he turned it around on me and started talking about Halo lore for half an hour, with no chance for me to change the subject. I've never played Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Watching some people play. Zeech Demons vs Death Guard. Zeech players keep using Zeech Psychic Powers. Zeech Psychic Powers would give the enemy plus one to feel no pain rolls. By the fifth turn, all Plague Marines have a plus three feel no pain. The Zeech player complains that Plague Marines are OP. Be honest with you, feel no pain rolls are very good though. Honestly, plus three of feel no pain, that's really overpowered if I be honest with you. Yeah. Because you always get that save with feel no pain, it's really good. It's particularly good now. I'm a bit out of, like, I haven't played 40k in a long time. Yeah. I haven't really played since 7th edition, but I can tell you like now, if it works the same way as what it does now, feel no pain is fucking broken. A guy asked me which army I played. I told him. He proceeded to tell me what he thought was the best list to build for them in detail and how to play them. It wouldn't have been so bad, but he hardly let me get a word in, and whenever I was able to speak, he completely ignored what I had to say and continued his train of thought. Oh, I've come across that quite a few times. I um, think there there are always those people in like tabletop games who just think they, 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 are, think they, they are, are they are the bees knees. Listen to them, and they know it all. I know everything. I know absolutely everything. Yeah, there's you, you know, always you the, always the find those type was, of people. For me, in particular, where I used to play was where the Northern Ireland um, team, team played. played. So the local matter why I was was very. That's very not, heavy rules. Yeah, very heavy. But um, all the guys were really nice. They though. were dead on. Yeah, they were not nice. And because battles. they played for the Northern Ireland team, you kind of listened to them. Yeah, then, because yeah, so they knew how to play. You know, they were they were really good players. Yeah. But they, you know, they're the type of guys that make armies and just you know, like, you buy the army, you f <gasps> them out the door whenever the rules go shit. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you yeah. sell them and you go on to the next big army. You know. Go to local store to pick up some hobby supplies. Two kind of normal looking guys are setting up to play kill team in complete silence. Walk up to them. What do you guys think about the new kill team? They both freeze up and start looking at the floor. After 10 seconds, one of them just mumbles, Yeah. Realise both of them are too to even hold a conversation. Walk away. Perfect. <laughs> Poor guys. All, all it's a bit of a shame because like, tabletop games and like, D&D and all that sort of stuff, it is very socially organised. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you do need to you have... Do ha you have to be more and especially if your only chance to play is at local game stores yeah, you, you have, have to you have to muck person. in with like complete and strangers it can be hard, it like, can be know, hard. i'm not the most sociable person in my life you know yeah i'm, I'm pretty horrible at it be honest with you. yeah i talk for james <laughs> most of the time yeah, <laughs> yeah. he pulls on my sleeve mommy can i get juicy <laughs> yeah. that's what it feels like sometimes i'm gonna be honest with you be me Go to my local game store to play some kill team with my friend. <laughs> some greasy neckbeard in a trench coat walks up to us. Oh god, I hope it doesn't think I'm a woman. Hey, do you guys like that new kill team? <laughs> Talks for another half a minute. Yeah. It walks away. Thank god it didn't. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I love that also. That's cool. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! <laughs> Some guy bothering my roommate the whole day because he played Demons of Slaanesh in 40k. Like he hovered over him playing, being all snarky every time something went bad to him. Which happened often because, fuck, he was playing Slaanesh. Shit talking his paint job and how he deserved every loss for playing those terrible, terrible titty demons. By the way, we never met this guy before. 
that's honestly bizarre. I, like, that's I, so weird. I, like, you know, don't get me wrong, I have come across it before, like, you know, people being like, really weird because you play certain artists. Because you play Dark Elder. Like, okay, like, <laughs> I'm an boy. I play Slanesh, I play Dark Elder, I play Death Corps of Krieg, I play Cardons. All of the most edgy factions you could possibly play as, I play as, okay? Don't edgy judge me boy. too much, guys, okay? Edgy boy. Like, I think they look cool, and I really like to lore, so please leave me alone. <laughs> Be talking about painting minis with a guy at a hobby shop. He likes my paint job, so he asks about technique. He proceeds to shit all over Citadel contrast paint line. I understand that's opinion, but all of my stuff that he's seen is painted contrast. Don't tell him because I don't really care. He pulls out thin your paints. <laughs> level of thin your paints space wolves painted with absolutely dreadful amount of caked on paint with what looks like vile slaps of metallic. Don't say anything. Mind my own business. He then proceeds to tell another guy how he spends about six hours on each oh, marine. Oh, no, you do not. And that he uses three, three undercoats of Corax white spray for coverage. No, Why three coats? That, that'd be that's excessive. That's, that's too much. It'll I mean, take out all the detail. Yeah, yeah well, it'll lose detail by spending them three times. You only need it once. It's yeah. To and it's really likely. Yeah. Like, I'm not an amazing peak or anything, but I get the concepts, you know what I mean? <laughs> Guy he's talking to says, Oh, well, that explains it. That starts giggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would explain a lot. Layer Paint goes full tarred and starts slamming his minis back into his case and storms out of the shop. Shop owner laughs and says not to worry. He'll be back after he goes across the street and cools down with a Jersey Mike sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, you know, I, I really don't mind the contrast paints. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I can understand why people will use them. And they are very quickly at getting paint and done. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, for me, I my favourite part is conversions and the actual building of the models. Mm -hmm. Painting will probably be after that, you know what I mean? And then the See, that's, that's different paint. for me. I don't like paint. I don't like building them. No, I love building. I love painting. I love building and conversions. Are, that is, for me, the most fun part. Okay. You know? Well, so next time you build them all and I'll, well, don't give me all. I take, take ages. I take like three days to paint one model. Yeah, you do. When you decide, oh, I'm going to get them to work. So that was a oh! horrible idea. <laughs> that was a horrible idea. Megan, let's be serious. Playing 40k 4th edition as a teen in my local games workshop. Iron Warriors vs Dark Angels. My demon prince is down to one wound. Close game. He has a tactical squad near it with the plasma cannon. Shell them with my basilisk. Back when Iron Warriors could take them. Cause 25% casualties. He fails the leadership test. Falls back at the start of the next turn. In the shooting phase he starts rolling and uses plasma cannon on my demon prince. Tell him that he can't, as the unit moves and it's a very heavy weapon, even if it's involuntary. I don't know about 4th edition, but he would need to have a 6th thing to hit, because it's a heavy weapon you need to yeah. stay in motion, so you can't move for it. He literally bursts into treats on the spot. Treats? I'm going to say tears. Oh yeah, tears. I think. Bursts into tears on the spot. Games Workshop manager lets him go in the back to console himself. Oh, poor guy probably had some stuff going on, but it was such an odd reaction. That is a weird reaction. It is a weird reaction. What I, do you I, do if you're playing with somebody and somebody just starts gurning and walking away? I, I, I don't know what, I don't know how I would handle that. I'd be like, I, I would Slowly so start to I'd pack like, up oh, your you, shit. You, you're, are you okay? You, you good? You know, try to pat them on the back. It's, it's okay, don't worry about it. You know, like, we all fail leadership tests sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> I have no idea how I'd handle that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Play at local games workshop. Fat guy suddenly stands next to us. Awkward silence. Suddenly mumbles about the paint job of one of our minis. I feel bad about this awkward guy and engage in a little conversation about painting. Autism activated. Dude starts rambling his marine's colour scheme and why they're painted this way. Devolves into rambling about his homebrew space marine chapter lore. Obviously autistic shit. We have to listen to endless autism lore. Goes even further and starts LARPing a space marine and even quotes his made up characters. Ugh, this goes on for more than an hour. Red shirt dude laughing in the background. I didn't go to the store for a while in fear of meeting him again. <laughs> yeah. IRL TG user encounter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled bad, by the way. <laughs> why, is it, why do they always got to smell bad? That's like, the, you know, that's like the worst bit about it, you know? I know. Be playing at a tournament. Dude brings a shitty Chaos Space Marine list with a Typhon Heavy Siege Tank. Thing only has one shot per turn, despite being most of his points. Misses two turns in a row. Because of course it does. Spurglord picks up his dice, shoves them into his pants, 
rubs what? them all over his balls and then hurls them across oh the convention God. floor. So, uh, are you going to the charge phase? Finish the game and he just walks away from the table, leaving all of his stuff there. Dude has rage issues, which is understandable, but fucking what? <laughs> you know, I, I, I thought you were putting your dice in your, your mouth, mouth and spitting them out with vile. Don't be rubbing <laughs> them on your balls and chucking them at <laughs> like, everyone. These, these are his own dice, that's all I'm saying, <laughs> that's all I'm saying, thank God for that. This is multiple separate events about the same artist. Start going to a new game store in a new area I had just moved to. Come on their Warhammer day looking for a pickup game. The only one available is this one kid. I'll call him Bill. Bill is maybe 18 and built like the Pillsbury Doughboy. He has a shaved head and is typically dressed in one of three outfits. White t-shirt, khaki pants, combat boots, German iron cross necklace, (laughs) jeans, dress shirt and vest and tie. Or white t-shirt and formal tartan kilt. This garb, though, well, garb is not bad, at least, but like, you know, anytime I hear someone wearing a kilt, it's like, this was garb. <laughs> I quickly realise Bill is the local autismo, and I will be forced to play with him if I don't show up early enough to find someone different. He plays Imperial Guard, made from a hodgepodge of official models and historicals. His appearance aside, he is also insufferable to talk to. Basically just quotes TG green texts like Sir Barrington in a loud and self-important voice. (laughs) Ignore pretty much anything you try and add to the conversation. Also inserts right-wing politics into everything. One time I'm playing orcs against other orc players. Bill appears and comments, Ah, orcs fighting orcs, I see. Of course, for orcs. Fighting is merely a sport. Not that I watch much sports myself these days, what with the Colin Kaepernick kneeling protests and all. What? Oh, that was that guy in NFL. It was like a few years back. And he like kneeled. Yes, yes. It was something to do with black guys matters. I don't know. Yes, yeah. I don't really, I don't keep up to speed with American politics. So he's just one of these guys, he just puts fucking right wing shit into fucking <laughs> like, D&D and 40k. All I'm going to say is, see when it comes to politics in tabletop, oh, just keep the fuck just out. Keep I don't fuck care. Out. I don't I, give I, a, I've yeah. got no interest in whether it's left or right, just keep it out of games in general because it's yeah. just going to, it's not ideal. No. You know what I mean? It's not ideal. Unless, of course, I'm always up for the bandwagon of gas the elves. You know what I mean? But that's just a funny meme, be honest with you. Like, you know, that's the that's only one where I'm like, okay, guys, I can kind <laughs> Let's of do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll be the only one, bar that. No, keep the politics out of games, please. It'll, like, everyone will just enjoy it a lot better if we do, please. Looks at us hopefully before leaving when it becomes clear we aren't going to take this obvious bait conversation. Don't go back to the store for some time. Come back much later. Don't see Bill. Maybe he left for good. Start setting up for my game. I have a converted Gorkonaut model out that I'm quite proud of. I hear a voice behind me ask about my conversation. I turn around, excited to talk about my dudes. It's Bill. He's wearing a plastic costume German... Oh, oh my god! No, he's not wearing... No, he's one not. of those spiky helmets, the pickle helms? Or how are Helmet you and the kind of the spike on top. Yes. I end the conversation as quickly as possible to avoid being seen <laughs> next to <laughs> him. Politically, he described himself as pretty author- authoritarian right, but I like to think of myself as a nice guy. <laughs> that- <laughs> That's cringe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, guys. Like, you know, you guys can have your own political when ideology. When Discord leaks out into the real world. <laughs> like, you know, just, just please don't walk about with a fucking pickle helmet on. Like, <laughs> yes. you know? like I know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Germany in World War One. I. I really enjoy them, you know what I mean? Um, World War One would be the one I really go into. Yeah. Detail. I don't really care much for World War Two at all. Yeah. It's, it doesn't have the same elements to me. World War One is really so it's a grim, dark, and forty k. I can't help but love it. Yeah. But like, please don't work. One on top of the things. <laughs> please just don't. The guy who used to steal people's models when they weren't looking. What a dick. I know. I'll honestly fuck him. The guy who used to have a tantrum and break people's models when they lost. That's almost worse. The autistic teenager who used to steal other people's models and repaint them. Oh, oh what a dick. Jesus, that's a dick. The eight-year-old who thought it was hilarious to splatter green paint on my bloodthirster. The guy who complains about everything to the red shirt's face. Oh, I hate Primaris, etc. The massive fat ginger bloke who got into an argument about the rules and threw a load of boxes onto the floor. <laughs> what? What's wrong with these people? I've never come across this before, ever. 
The blonde guy with terrible acne who tried to impress some kid's mother with his homebrew <laughs> craft world lore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I love 40 Kettle, but you know what I'm going to new females with, <laughs> with 40 Kelly. You know what I mean? The guy who farted all the time. Ugh. The girl who said she wouldn't play any game that didn't fit her narrative. Wee! Disgusting. Don't even bother. The guy who brought the fewest models per game he possibly could. Why, did he just not want to paint them or what? I don't know I what don't the know. last one's about. Honestly, I, I've never came across... That, that is extreme. I, if that's I, all from one, one local game store... That is mental. That's I've never come crazy. across one of them. I've never came across one of them ever. You know what I mean? I think my, I think our Google one's actually pretty good. Yeah. For the most part, I think the guys are... Pretty decent. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. We've got, like, you know, people are a bit awkward and whatnot, but I'm awkward. But, so, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I think I'm pretty lucky. When it comes to it, a lot of the time, I've never really had any horrible interactions with people like IRL and game stores playing 40k. For the most part, the people I've played 40k with seem pretty cool. Like, you know, there's only one or two people I can think of, oh, maybe I don't want to play with them anymore, or like, you know, I'll just, no, I'll just avoid them for the most part. But uh, I think I've got away pretty scot-free for the most part compared to most. Um, if you guys have any of your own stories that you could tell us about whenever you were playing 40k, definitely I'd love to hear them down below. Maybe we could make a video out of them if we get enough good ones at us. But uh, yeah, that's mad, to be honest with you. I, I, could, I could not stand for someone breaking my models. That, that, that's called for a straight-up fight then and there. You know, how could you even... Oh, disgusting. You know what I mean? Who, who could actually behave like that, like a civilized human being? But, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed it. It was a good wee thread. We might do another part two. You know, who knows? But, like, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, check out uh, links down below and all that jazz, and we'll see you next time.